Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for the single Leos. This is going to be your bonus love reading. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and SoundCloud will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least two, three days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, go check out my spiritual store on Etsy. Link is going to be down below. And make sure you check out my new Instagram. I'm pulling daily tarot cards, sharing channeled messages, spells, talking about the energy shifts, and sharing updates on my YouTube channel and my Etsy store. So if you guys are interested in all that, you can go follow me at Cosmic Tides underscore. And that information will also be down below. And before we begin, just keep in mind that these energies are interchangeable. So feel free to switch around the characters if you need to as we go along, okay? <clears throat> Okay, so, um, interesting. So these two cards were also in the, um, the Aries reading I just did, okay? Um, and I shuffled the deck really, really good, so I, it always blows my mind when the cards does this. But, yeah, these definitely came out on top of each other again. Okay, so you might want to go watch it, but definitely go watch the second half, okay? Watch the second half of the, that reading, because it's two parts. Uh, one for the... The first part is for the people who are still in the Scorpio season lesson who didn't close that out. Um, and the second part is for people who um, closed out their Scorpio season lesson, okay? So you had death to rebirth, um, and I'm seeing your rebirth is taking place here, okay? So definitely check out the second part of that Aries reading. The timestamp will be down below for you guys. Um, so yeah, let, let me just get started. So I'm seeing you guys are taking steps to ensure your financial security in a situation. I see you making wise investments for your future self. Um, yeah, you're trying to make smart choices that's going to bring you a better tomorrow. I see you investing in yourself and transformation is taking place here. Um, the, yeah, transformation is taking place here because you put death to a situation so you can have a rebirth for yourself so spiritual transformation can take place because a soul contract has ended, okay? So you close that out. And now I just see, like I said, transformation is taking place here and this person's feeling challenged by this. Um, this person's wanting change in the situation because they see that um, you're doing better without them. Um, they're seeing your transformation taking place, okay? But I see it's like you guys want like potential marriage in your future okay you want marriage in your future you want someone that gives you peace okay not disrupts your peace and I see you're going to be assertive when it comes to what you know is right especially when it comes to loyalty and I see you're going to be letting go of people or things that no longer serve your highest good so you can focus on yourself and your career and have a commitment to your spiritual growth and I see you just following your own path right now taking your emotions out of the equation so you can think logically in this, this in this situation so you can move forward into your future okay because the soul contract has been completed here and I just see it's like you're ready to move forward into your next chapter and step into your blessings from the burdens of this past situation okay because the soul contract is complete here and I see you made this decision to move forward yeah I see you made the decision that was best for you rather than trying to keep this other person happy okay you did what was best for you because this person was like cold and detached and I just see it's like this the situation was starting to become heavy for you and I see it's like you let that weight fall off your shoulder so you can move forward into your next chapter into your abundance Okay, into, into the blessings of the burdens from this situation. And you were trying to be practical with respect to how you proceeded. Because I see it's like you guys you guys did want a reconciliation with this person. You have feelings for this person. Because um, I see this person is trying to get your forgiveness here. And I see it's like, like I said, you're trying to be practical with respect to how you proceed. You want to make a smart choice that was going to bring you a better tomorrow. And you know if you reconciled with this person that you were just going to be weighed down again. Stressed out and burdened by the situation. And I see you're just wanting to move forward into your next chapter. and So you can stay in a high vibration so you can heal um so transformation so this transformation can really take place here i'm seeing your gifts are opening up i'm seeing you're just wanting to look to the future with hope and optimism <laughs> you're just wanting to focus on your spirituality and on your healing on yourself um you're just wanting to move forward so happy changes can bring relief from your challenging time so you can receive the blessings from the burdens of the situation okay because you know this person's in and out of your life and i see this person is still going to be trying to take immediate action towards you i see this person as being kind of persistent okay but definitely don't be fooled by this because this person is going to be offering you this equal energy exchange 
okay but it's like you know that this person took you took advantage of you in the past here and you know they're still going to be in and out here okay because this person is still going to be in and out is what i'm seeing this is more like a sexual based energy it's like this person wants what they can't have now okay um it's basically what i'm seeing Okay, and I'm just saying, like I said, you're just wanting to move forward. So these happy changes can take place. So your transformation can take place. Okay, because you know this person didn't change. They're still going to be in and out. And I see it's like you just want an equal energy exchange. You want two people that can work on something solid that will benefit both of them, putting in the same amount of energy and effort. And you know this person can't do that for you because they, um, they take you for granted. They take your kindness for granted here. And I'm definitely seeing, too, like, the situation definitely keeps you up in your head, kind of distracts you from um, your soul's mission that's being asked of you guys right now. Um, so I definitely see it's like you're not wanting to be distracted by this situation anymore. I just see, like I said, it's like you're just really wanting to look to the future with hope and optimism. I just see it's like you guys are... You guys are just like basically like hearing the call and you're answering it here. Okay, so I definitely see where you guys are being called to mission and I see where you're accepting. It's like you're very accepting of the transformation that's wanting to take place for you um, is what I'm seeing. And it's also too, it's like because you know this is going to bring you more abundance. This is going to bring more positive op opportunities for you is what I'm seeing. So you're just wanting to move forward into your future mainly so you can heal. But also so things can start to get better for you so you can get out of that heavy energy, okay? You just want to stay in that high vibe, basically. You just want to be happy is what really what I'm getting from this. You just want to be happy. You don't want to be taken advantage anymore. Um, the only things I see you giving to is that equal energy exchange and you know you're not going to get it from this person. Or if you do, you know it's going to be short-lived here because this person's still going to be in and out. Um, so definitely, I just see it's like this person's not fooling you guys, basically, is what I'm getting. Okay, so if that resonated with you guys, definitely go check out the second half of that Aries reading. Okay, because so it's going to give you extra information. I'm just seeing it's like you guys are really just... Yeah, I just see it's like you're really just thinking about your future, I'm seeing. Okay, so like I said, smart choices that bring you a better tomorrow. Okay, and you want marriage in your future, a happy marriage. Um, this is also that equal energy exchange. This is also like divine life partner stuff. Like you want that equal give and take here, those deep feelings of peace and happiness. Like I said, you want this person to be your peace, not disturb your peace. Okay, um, so I just see it's like you're going to be really assertive when it comes to what you know is right, especially when it comes to loyalty. Okay, excuse me, loyalty with this person. And I see, like I said, you're going to be letting go of people or things that no longer serve your highest good. Um, and I see it's like you're just wanting to let these things and people go so you can focus on yourself, your career. So like I said, so you can plan for a better tomorrow. Okay, and I just see it's like you're just trying to have this commitment to your spiritual growth to move forward. And I just see it's like you're really um, becoming balanced, okay, because we do have the king and queen of winter here. And I just see this both as you. I just see really embodying your masculine and feminine energy here. And I just see it's like you're really on top of things, basically right now i just see you really taking control of your situation and it's like i just see you going into a lot of blessings in this next chapter especially to um this transformation that's taking place as part of um sagittarius uh sagittarius season and we also have jupiter in sagittarius right now um only until like i think the early december and it's been here since august 11th but i'm just saying it's like because you guys followed a followed um because you guys followed with the Scorpio season lesson, which was death to rebirth, I'm definitely seeing you guys are having this spiritual rebirth here. It's like people who already had gifts. I'm just seeing they're really expanding and becoming stronger people who um, are just tapping into their gifts. I'm just seeing it's like they're really going to be awakening. Okay, gifts are going to be awakening for you guys. And I just see it's like you're really just wanting to go into this next chapter to explore that, explore your spirituality, explore your magic, um, and mainly healing. I'm seeing something about healing. You're just really wanting to heal here. Okay, um, and that noise was my shed door. I have, like, my door open because um, it's nice. But um, anyway, yeah, I'm just seeing for you guys, um, like, this is very transformative. And that's a lot, like I said, a lot of that is thanks to Jupiter and Sagittarius, uh, which is only going to be around, like I said, till this early December. Then it's not going to be back around Sagittarius for another 12 years. So I definitely see you guys took that energy to your advantage. So shout out to you guys. Okay, because I see it's going to be paying off. 
And I definitely see you guys using the law of attraction here too. So some of you definitely are using the law of attraction with your new abilities that are opening up for you. And I just see it's like, yeah, you're staying in that high vibe so you can attract more high vibe shit is what I'm seeing. So good for you guys, okay? Because I definitely see it's going to be really paying off here. Everybody's going to be wanting to come towards you guys because I'm just seeing it's like your light is on. So people are going to be wanting to come towards you. But they kind of all hold the energy of this person and like i just see like spirits kind of doing that right now just so you can really just focus on yourself and these new gifts that are expanding for you it's like they kind of want you to be a little selfish not really selfish but yeah kind of selfish your next chapter just so you can really just focus on yourself getting to know your gifts getting into your own spirituality um all that stuff so this is really happening for you guys i really see you following along with it which is really good um and I definitely see where this is going to work to your advantage. Definitely see where you guys are using the law of attraction here. You're really walking away from what you don't want to walk towards what you do, basically. Even though it's kind of hard because I am seeing, like I said, it's like you do want to reconcile with this person, but it's like you don't want to be brought down. You don't want to be in this burden anymore. You don't want to be in a heavy situation anymore. You're just wanting to be high vibe so you could bring high vibe shit to you. I totally get it. Okay, so shout out to you guys. I see you guys doing really good over here. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there for you guys. Um, definitely go check out the second half of that Aries reading. It'll be beneficial to you. Definitely check out my Instagram too, at Cosmic Tides underscore. Okay, because there's definitely some posts on there that's going to resonate with your situation. And... um yeah, just keep moving forward and doing you. Some signs you could be dealing with here. Um, I'm seeing Leo. I'm seeing a Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Pisces, Aquarius, Aries. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys. Uh, make sure you check your charts and your partner's charts. Like I said, definitely go check out my Instagram at Cosmic Tides underscore. It's going to give you some extra info on your situations. And, um, okay, go check out, too, um, my Etsy store. Um, I ran out of the Good Luck and Prosperity ritual sets, but we got some comfy, cozy blankets up. Um, so definitely check that out. And definitely listen to Light My Fire out now only on SoundCloud. Link is going to be down below. All right, so I'll catch you guys next week, okay? Bye.